Magic is a brilliant game that's been going on for over 30 years, and while I've been playing it for at least half of that journey, I'm still learning new things about it every day. And to be honest, with a 281 page rule document that seems to grow every three months or so, I'm going to get it wrong sometimes. So in this video, I wanted to clarify two small things that I got wrong in my previous video, as well as answer and highlight a number of interesting interactions that have arisen from this change that I discussed with the viewers in the comments. So let's jump into it. Firstly, changing the word card to permanent isn't the reason why copies and tokens can be double-faced. Wizards have simply allowed tokens and copies to be able to become double-faced cards. That's it. As John Jay puts it in the comments, my end result was correct, but the way I got there wasn't. Thanks for clarifying, John. Secondly, Vizier of the Many Faces Embalm token cannot transform. After discussing the rule change with some viewers in the comments, I eventually realized what I missed. And all it took was a discussion about Blade of Shared Souls and Thing in the Ice. So Crab asks, if we create a token copy of Thing in the Ice, will it immediately flip to Awoken Horror? The quick answer here is no, as the token will still come into play with four ice counters on it. If you then remove the four ice counters on it, yes, it will then flip to Awoken Horror. Lucky Duck then asks, would this work with Blade of Shared Souls, with the token becoming a copy of Thing in the Ice? And this is where it all made sense. So to answer Lucky Duck's question and work out this ruling, we simply need to ask, is the 2-2 red rebel creature a single-faced or double-faced permanent? The short answer is, it's a single-faced permanent. On the flip side, incubator tokens explicitly say they transform into a 0-0 Phyrexian artifact creature. So from that, we know that incubator tokens are double-faced permanents. And one of the rules we clarified in the previous video was, if any card or token other than a double-faced permanent is instructed to transform, nothing happens. So will the token attached to Blade of Shared Souls transform after becoming a copy of Thing in the Ice? No, it is a single-faced permanent and cannot transform. This answer then led me to realize my mistake. Vizier of the Many Faces Embalm Token is a token copy of Vizier of the Many Faces. And how many faces does Vizier of the Many Faces have? Well, it's just one. It's a single face card, which means the token is also a single face card, which means the token cannot transform. So with that out of the way, here are some quick fire interactions that were brought up in the comments. Would this rule change affect morph cards? Nope, the rules for morph haven't changed. If you create a token copy of a morph, your token copy will become a 2-2 colorless creature with no abilities. How does this rule change work with Dollhouse of Horrors? Well, you'll get a double face token copy of the transform card that you exiled it will have all its written abilities, but both sides will have zero power and toughness, and in addition, it will have the ability, this creature gets plus one plus one for each construct you control. The token also gains haste till end of turn. What about token copies of transformer cards? The new rule applies here too. Effectively, convert is the exact same thing as transform, so yes, you can transform or convert your Decepticons and Autobots tokens. All right, that's all I've got for this video. Thanks again for all your support on my channel recently. I really appreciate it. I hope you'll all stick around and watch my future videos. Have a good night and I'll see you next time.